Hello YouTubers. This video is a small demo on how to set IP address of the S7-1200 or 1500 station IP address in user program. To set IP address of the S7 station in user program tconfig instruction is used. This instruction can change the Ethernet address, the Profinet device name, or the IP addresses of the NTP servers for time of day synchronization from within the user program. These adjustments can be done permanently, or temporary. IP address and name can be changed temporary or permanently, while NTP server IP address can only be changed temporary. If mode is permanent, then change is permanent, meaning, that the change persists even through power loss. If mode is temporary, it means, that change is volatile and reverts to the original value after power loss. Let's take a look at the structure of the configuration data block. The configuration data block consists of header and some subfields with even number of bytes. Header structure, type ID, length, and subfield count. Each subfield consists of type ID, length, mode, and subfield specific parameters. Number of bytes of subfield must be even. Let's switch to our configuration data block. As I already mentioned, configuration data block structure is as follows, header, and subfields. Data type of the header is if, conf, header. You need to write that data type by hand and all the necessary fields will show up automatically. Supported subfields are IP of the station, Profinet IO device name, and network time protocol. In this demo, I am using two out of three, IP address, and Profinet IO device name. Data type of the IP address setpoint is if, conf, v4. You need to write that data type by hand and all the necessary fields will show up automatically. Data type of the Profinet IO name setpoint is, if, conf, nos. You need to write that data type by hand as previous ones, and all the necessary fields will show up automatically. Let's expand header. It contains following elements, type, its value must be 0. ID, its value must be 0, as well. Subfield count, it is count of subfields. In my example count of subfields is 2. Let's expand IP address subfield. This subfield contains following elements, ID, here is set ID of subfield. Its value must be 30. Length, here is set length of the subfield in bytes. Its value is 18, 6 are for header and 12 for IPv4. Mode, this setting will determine if setting will be permanent, or temporary. For permanent value is 1. For temporary, value is 2. Interface address, contains IP address that will be set. Subnet mask. And default router. Next subfield is Profinet IO device name. This subfield contains following elements, ID, here is set ID of subfield. Its value must be 40. Length, here is set length of the subfield in bytes. Mode, this setting will determine if setting will be permanent, or temporary. For permanent value is 1, for temporary, value is 2. NOS, name of station. Array must be occupied from the first byte. If the name is shorter than the array, then zero byte after the actual station name must be entered. All is set in the configuration data block, let's walk through the programming part. Create new function block. In the variable declaration table add variable for tconfig function instance. Add two boolean type variables. One for job done indication, 
another one for detection of positive edge of the start signal. Add double word variable for error location. In network 1 any done job gets reset on the positive edge of the start bit. Network 2, call for tconfig function. Network 3, evaluation of the error if any occur. Network 4, job is done. Create a call of the function block in the organization block OB1. To be able to make changes of the IP address in the user program, you need to make some adjustments in the hardware configuration. Open device view with your CPU. Click on the general tab, and expand profinet interface. Select ethernet addresses, and select IP protocol selection as follows, IP address is set directly at the device. In the profinet property select profinet device name is set directly at the device. Compile, save, and download project to the PLC for testing. Let's test our application. First we need to connect to the PLC. The IP address of my PLC is Let's try to change the IP address to something else. Communication to the PLC with the old address is lost, as new IP address was assigned. Let's check profinet IO device name. As you can see, CPU has got a new IP address and new profinet device name. Let's try to change the IP address back. And again, communication is lost, because another IP address is assigned. Profinet IO device name is the same, because I did not change it in the configuration data block. As you can see, application works well. Our goal is achieved, we can change the IP address of the S7 station in the user program. If you find this video helpful, please do not forget to like it, and subscribe to the channel. Thank you for watching and happy coding.